Hey everyone, Jason here. Today we are going to take a look at this beautiful new set, which is of course the latest LEGO Ideas set, the pop-up book. And if you're unfamiliar with the history behind this set, Grant Davis and I posted the original project back on LEGO Ideas just over two years ago. And it went through the process of gathering support and went through the review process and it was approved. And this is the final product which will be released on November 1st. And as you can probably imagine, it is really exciting for me to finally be holding this finished set in my hands after all that time. So without further ado, let's crack it open. First, we'll take a quick look at the instruction manual. On the first page is some information about Grant and me which is pretty standard for LEGO Ideas sets. And we also have some information about the LEGO designers, Wes and Crystal, who did a fantastic job turning our idea into this awesome LEGO set. Next, there's a couple pages on the history of pop-up books in general, which I thought was really cool. And finally, there are a couple of pages about the two fairy tales that are included in the set, Little Red Riding Hood and Jack and the Beanstalk. Now onto the parts, which do come in six numbered bags, but I have opened them all up and laid them out so we can take a closer look. There are a lot of dark green basic plates and bricks for building the book itself. Also quite a few bricks with studs on their sides in black and dark green. And here we come across the tiles, a lot of them in brown and tan for building decoration on the outside of the book and also for the pages. Interestingly enough, during one of the interviews I did for this project, I said that this was one of my favorite pieces and the set comes with 32 of them, which I thought was pretty appropriate. And here we have the absolutely gorgeous tile, eight by 16 printed tile for the cover of the book. And of course here we have the one by six printed tiles with Grant's and my surname on them, which is obviously really exciting for us. Here are the minifigs, which we'll take a closer look at in a second some Technic bits, and we'll finish up with a lot of colorful slopes and curved slopes as well. For minifigs, we get four plus a micro fig. For Little Red Riding Hood, we get Grandma, the Wolf, and Red. And for Jack and the Beanstalk, we get a minifig giant and a micro scale Jack. I especially like the printing on the giant's torso. It has some cool little details like the goose and the golden egg, and also the printing on the wolf's head which has lipstick and grandma's glasses. Here they are from the back. And here they are without the head accessories, so you can more easily see the printing on the torsos. Okay, let's build this thing. I actually did shoot video of me building the model, but I'll probably just post that as a separate video for those of you who are interested in seeing how it goes together. So what do we get? We get the book itself. We get the scenery inserts for the Little Red Riding Hood story as well as the Jack and the Beanstalk story, and they both share these two small little scenery pieces as well. The book is the same size as the one Grant and I proposed in our original idea, but of course it looks 100 times better. It is this dark green with brown accents modeled off traditional leather-bound books with this gold inlaid printing, which obviously looks beautiful. The pages or faux pages, I guess, are in tan. And on the inside, we have some exposed studs in the back and in the front corners as well for connecting scenery, as well as the Technic pins here where the pop-up inserts are anchored. And there's also this bar sticking out of the inside of the spine here, which is for the Jack and the Beanstalk insert. So we'll start by adding the little red riding hood scene. We can add grandma's bed in the back, which is actually hollow so that you can fit a minifig inside, which is really awesome. Then we'll put in the little coffee table and some of the decoration in the front. Each of the pop-up inserts has a pin on either end of it. And those pins just insert into the Technic bricks on either side of the inside of the book. The front of the cottage is very nicely decorated. We have a nice little chimney up the side here. 
the door can open and close and it has some nice wooden framing around it. We also have this nice colorful, probably straw thatched roof. In the back, there is a fire burning in the fireplace, which is pretty cool. Each of the inserts is hinged in the center, which is what allows them to fold up when we close the book. And at the bottom of each end of the insert are a couple of Technic holes, which are allowed to slide along this axle at the anchor point. And this mechanism is pretty much exactly the same as the one that Grant and I used in our original submission, which is pretty cool. And when you put it all together, you get this nice smooth closing motion. Now in order to switch scenes, all we have to do is pop out the cottage insert. Then we'll take out the scenery in the back. First we'll put the beanstalk in, which has two clips at the bottom of it, which clip onto that bar. And then we also have this anchor piece here, which fits into one of the holes of those studs in the back. And we'll just take a look at this first. It's actually really, really cool. As you open the book, that anchor piece pulls a string connected to this scissor mechanism, which pops the castle in the sky up to the top of the beanstalk. Wes did an amazing job designing this. It's really awesome. And then for the micro scale village on the pop-up scene, again, we just anchor it into those Technic holes on either side of the book and it folds up just like the cottage did before. Of course, the thing that excites me the most about this set is that you can design and build whatever interiors you want. And let's see what else we can build using the pieces that come in the set. Here I've decided to build another version of the Jack and the Beanstalk story, giving the giant a little bit bigger castle. I've put all the micro scale scenery into the background, including this cool little micro train built using the roller skate pieces going over this bridge here. And here is the larger castle in the clouds as the main pop-up scene, and it's big enough for the giant to stand in. These towers on the sides are even on little hinges, so you can pose them a little bit if you like. And of course it closes up, just like all the other inserts. I am really excited about this set. I can't wait to see what you guys build for custom interiors, and I can't wait to build some more of my own. I will be posting a couple of more videos over the next week leading up to the release of the set. In one, I'll take a much closer look at some of the changes they made from our original ideas submission. And you may notice there is one big thing missing, and that is the clasp that we had on the side of the book here to keep it closed. And I will be also posting a tutorial video on how you can add the clasp back in if that is something that you want. As always, thanks for watching, keep on building, 
and I will see you next time.